What's up guys, I device help here and today in this video Apple introduced iOS 9.0.2 for all iPhones, iPads and iPod touches that support the software. Now there are some minor changes, not physical, but under the hood. I also have it running here on this iPhone 4S. So I'm going to give you guys a quick walkthrough and some of the information you need to know. Alright, so here are the release notes for iOS 9.0.2. The first issue that Apple tackled was the turning off the cellular data for individual applications. Some users were having problems with this going here into cellular scrolling down individual applications can use data and you can turn it off for every individual application as you wish so that wasn't working for some users on the release notes it appears that apple has fixed that it also resolves an issue with the iMessage activation process which it wasn't allow some users to activate their iMessage now the next thing that Apple fixed, and I was actually affected by this, was the backup manually to iCloud. Now it's that that is fixed now here in the settings if you go to your iCloud account and you want to back up your device, all your pictures and information manually by tapping backup now. That option wasn't working properly, it was being interrupted, so it looks like Apple has tackled and fixed that as well. As well as fixing an issue when users were receiving notifications and the iPhone would go into landscape mode uh, accidentally. So that's also fixed and other stability issues have been resolved with this new version of iOS. Now another thing I do want to note, uh, the bug that I found with iOS 9.0 uh, by the lock screen to get access to the photos, that has been patched so security enhancements have been made to the operating system as well. And one more thing to note for those jailbreakers that are waiting for the jailbreak iOS 8.4.1 that window has been closed you can no longer downgrade from ios 9 or 9.1 to ios 8.4.1 unfortunately that window has been closed so make sure you share this video so everybody gets that information uh now if you update it to ios 9.0 and above uh the next option to jailbreak will be in the future hopefully the tai g team at least a jailbreak before the end of the year so let's just cross our fingers now in terms of the iphone 4s those of you that have the older devices the performance is still the same a bit buggy i mean once it gets running it kind of runs smooth i'm not going to say it doesn't have problem it does have some lag uh, it's not perfect by, by any means and uh, hopefully apple will have it running a bit more smoothly with ios 9.1 once that gets released officially to the public we're awaiting for that as well so you guys have it those are some of the quick changes that apple provided with this new software update i hope you guys found this video informative and helpful and if you did like always don't forget to click that thumbs up i always do appreciate it make sure you follow us on facebook twitter and google plus or any questions leave a comment down below it's been a device i hope you guys have a great day and i'll catch you guys really soon peace